Um, stock of the day, not out of any particular news that we're seeing, but it's one of the best performers today, James Hardy. Uh, stock up around 8%, in fact. Uh, it is the global materials and manufacturer, one of the uh, being one of the best performers. And um, Andrew, I might start with you then, what you're seeing with James Hardy, and I guess in that building materials sector, given the slowdown we're seeing in property, of course, and how that's likely to affect it. But then, I mean, do we stop renovating um, in these uh, times of um, when uh, the economy starts to falter? Yeah, we've discussed before, Andrew, uh, I think I tried to pick on you about being a renovator and you uh, corrected me, so uh, I won't make that mistake again. But uh, look, I, um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit cautious on James Hardy. Uh, I mean, again, as we can see, that price action there, that's pretty spectacular today. 76% of their revenue comes from the US. And to Mark's point, you know, really what's going on in the US at the moment, we've got a fair bit of noise because we have US midterm elections coming up pretty soon. Uh, and after all the contention of 2020, how's that all going to play out from a political perspective? So, and we've seen prior to today, uh, their share price down 34% for the year relative to the share our market, which is only down about 4%. So it's been a pretty strong underperformer. If you look, though, at the underlying numbers, like they've got a very strong return on equity. You might remember, Andrew, that's one of the things I like to look at. Strong ROE at about 52% ROE, 17% margin, which is pretty good. And it's trading well below consensus. Consensus about 43 bucks. But then we sort of turn our mind to the PE, which is 13 times. So, you know, it's not eye-watering. I think the market's around 16 times at the moment. But you've only got forecast EPS growth of about 4%. So our friend, the PEG ratio, where we're trying to buy companies whose earnings per share growth is greater than that PE ratio, it certainly fails that measure. So on balance, 76% US, you've got um, sort of all that sort of US exposure, as I just spoke about before, PE versus EPS. I, I think it's a hold. I probably wouldn't be selling into this rally given the big divergence between uh, consensus and the share price, but I can certainly see plenty of headwinds in the short term. So mm -hmm. it is a oh, all right, yeah, Marcus, we can see the share price essentially regaining back to essentially, I guess, where it was early September. So just recovering some of those losses. So I guess we should bear that in mind, given what we're seeing today. How are you looking at James Hardy? Yeah, I, I'd agree with Andrew. It's a hold for now. Um, I think that, that US exposure, obviously, um, you know, it's, it's probably the most likely with the Fed going fairly aggressively to... Um, to have a recession um, based on the two tens being a very reliable forward indicator in the US, uh, nearing the sort of minus 50 mark, which I think is about a 20 or 30 year low. So, um, so look, I yeah, I think it's. I mean, it's already sold off about 40 odd percent this year. Um, they they do have great return on equity. Um, they they would have uh, some fixed costs. Um, you know, they would have been hurt by inflation with some. You know. Some fixed cost stuff, obviously, that's going to market now um, on a on a bit of a lag. So there is a risk that their next reporting maybe their margin maybe hit a little bit. But um, look, I, I'd be you know I'd be watching the economic numbers into the end of the year. And look, the more likely we are towards a soft landing, I think the more more inclined you'd be to accumulate on this one because it's a high quality company. But um, I think you you really need more data to probably to commit to this one at the moment. I think there's there's more than enough um, you know solid safer options out there um, that will yield about the same um, that you can probably pick up at the moment um, and not have to you know not have to worry about it. Yep. All right, James Hardy. That's a double hold. 